In July of 1963, a US RB-57 was intercepted and forced to land in Israel by then brand new Dassault Mirage 3 CJ interceptors. Then it was in June 1967, a year after President Charles de Gaulle pulled France from NATO, that early warning radars in France spotted a U-2 en route to one of their nuclear sites. In response to the U.S. plane's apparent violation of French airspace, a Mirage 3E rapidly took off from Dijon Air Base to get a shot of it for proof. The pilot ignited the SEPR-841 rocket booster and climbed 65,000 feet in the air, eventually reaching the U-2. He was able to snap a photograph before coming too close to U-2, as he kept the jet tightly in his camera's sight. After such a rapid ascent, the Mirage pilot was so low on fuel that he had to turn off the booster to get back to base. The U.S. halted all flights over France and didn't continue until much later, using the SR-71.